Hi Leo, what's up? Welcome to your July reading. I hope you're having a great day. We're going to be seeing what messages need to come through for you guys, get you some insight, guidance, and overall see what you can expect throughout this upcoming month. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. But let's get into your reading. Let's see what's going on for Leo placements. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on for Leo in July 2024? What do you guys need to know? Look out for, be aware of. Show me clearly. We got the whale coming out. What's going on for Leo? going on for leo all right this is going to be a deep month for you with a unicorn we have the oyster we have the horse this is a deep time of i see the introspection a lot of feels a lot of emotions some breakthroughs happening some action you're taking freedom expansion new beliefs new systems new experiences intuition is getting stronger like we have um the whale is a very intuitive energy the unicorn is very intuitive the horse is super intuitive the tiger at the bottom intuition is on point leo all right your intuition is fucking screaming at you <laughs> so we'll figure out what it's saying okay but first off with the whale there's something you're being called to explore the deep unknown terrain okay this is something that you are being called towards something that you're not quite sure what's on the other side but all you know is that there's this deep mysterious calling unknown energy that's like being like leo 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 someone's calling your soul someone's calling you okay you need to listen you need to follow that you need to explore this path whatever this path is we're gonna find out but i do feel that this is connected to your spiritual calling i do think this is connected to your soul's mission i do think that there is a greater purpose to this than you even haven't even fully understood what kind of impact this is going to create in your life and other people's lives even if you know what this is you don't even know to the extent of how big this is going to like that is going to unravel and you're only seeing the tip of the iceberg if you're already aware of what this path is or what you're being called towards and you kind of have an idea like oh yeah no i, I think it's could probably be pretty big or pretty successful it's like no you have no fucking clue how big this really is or how important this calling is or how big of a deal this thing is and so with the oyster it's like there's this masking there is this like surprise there's the element of surprise that's being brought up in this energy this is that whole saying like the world's your oyster and it is and it's showing here that i think you're gonna kick ass honestly with the horse i think that you know this next step this next path this direction i think you're really gonna kick some ass i think you're gonna really show up in your power in your strength you're gonna really show who's boss here with the horse this is all about um freedom it's all about confidence is about really building your self-worth your self-esteem your well-being mentally emotionally physically financially romantically like i feel like you're just you're being called to level up your life and there's massive advancements and huge 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 rewards big growth and i don't know man it feels like it's a big time for you leo big time big shifts big changes um that lead to a lot of happiness the tiger the otter like you know there's a lot of inner shifts taking place where there is satisfaction where you're feeling fulfilled where you're feeling in tune you're feeling aligned and if you're not quite feeling that right now there's some choices some changes some adjustments that you'll be making in the near future through july that will get you on this shift get you on this wavelength get get you on this path in this direction so continue to listen and follow your intuition because it is leading you to a work towards really amazing things y'all i can't even speak like the energy is just so crazy <laughs> um it could be a high emotional time we do have quite a few cards of the water element coming out here um really trying to be grounded not allow your emotions to get the best of you but to work with your feelings obviously let them out good bad everything in between um i feel like there's some sort of uh information you could be accessing or some sort of like maybe through meditation maybe through your dreams or it could be even like visiting um whether it be like someone you're visiting in your life or it could actually be talking more of like a spiritual energetic like ancestor spirit team that you're like 
that's visiting you in your dreams or in your meditation or something like that or through animals but it's just like they're you're being guided towards like this bigger grander purpose um oh it feels really it's very interesting vibes for you leo i'm liking the energy all right so what's going on for leo in the month of july 2024 literally your first card out is the wheel of fortune this is a month of big change for you a lot of significant change a lot of significant transformation we have the eight of wands at the bottom there could be things about moving or traveling or i just feel like this is signifying like quick fast changes happening really instantly like already you're probably going through a lot of shifts and it's happening quick like july i think is gonna fly by for you it's gonna be a very quick month so uh strap in put your seatbelt on because it's gonna be a, a busy time you're gonna be super busy all right show me clearly what's going on for leo we have do i want to take this okay why not page of cups the lovers and the seven of wands there's a conversation you oh what's this card it's it's the two of cups sticking out and the two pentacles at the bottom there okay this is a side message or this is a storyline here that's taking place um don't know if it's going to be the main theme for your reading or what but what i can tell you leo is there's like a conversation you can expect you might be initiating this conversation um, you might be dealing with a Gemini here, but there's an expression of emotion. There could be something about a commitment, marriage, or moving things to a higher level of commitment. But here's the thing. We have the Seven of Wands, which is showing like there's there's something about trust that's coming up. Um, do you trust this person with your life? Do they trust you with their life? Is there, there there's It feels here there's hesitation. There's a choice to be made. Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Things are up in the air right now. You haven't decided just yet. Yeah, even the moon underneath that. There's uncertainty about the future. The future that is between you and somebody else. All right. There's the wish, the star, the wish here to move forwards, to move away from some toxic shit. But there's, uh, it can't be overlooked. We have the devil and the page of wands. We can't just try and, you know outwit this devil with positivity and sunshine and rainbows that's not going to fix or heal this devil there, there needs to be this detoxifying there needs to be this removal there needs to be this clearing out otherwise there's some sort of cycle that's going to repeat itself here okay so be mindful of that but so yeah it's showing like there's there's this hesitation there's a conversation it starts to get things rolling get things going but there's like lack of trust or there's some tension in the air okay so that's one little storyline i'm seeing so we're just going to put those cards over here let's keep going let's see what else is going on for you in the month of july for leo placements show me clearly you might be asked with the oyster you have to open up or you might have to reveal your hidden emotions or feelings that you've kept or suppressed feelings that you've kept to yourself or you've been very private about there's a very private energy even with at the bottom of the deck from earlier the tiger it's a very private mysterious energy that you could be in you might be difficult to read right now there's someone around you that's difficult to read take it however it applies um some of you you're wondering what their intentions are we can look into that in a moment but let's just keep seeing what other messages might come through for leo in the month of july 2024 what do my Leos need to know? Look out for, be aware of. We have the Ten of Cups in sideways. This is Ten of Cups in the making. So you're not quite there yet. Or you may be there, but it's kind of fizzling out. Or let me see what's at the bottom. Nine of Cups. You're getting closer. Okay, so you're not quite in your Ten of Cups state. But you're on the way towards it. Nine of Cups. It starts from with you. Within you. You being solid in your source in yourself in, in your identity sorry there's a lot of distractions in the room next door to me a lot of loud banging so it's kind of throwing me off nine of cups the ace of pentacles and the two of swords this is about solidifying something or committing something further committing yourself to something a path a, a, a person a place like dedicating yourself that's a choice here two of swords and judgment um you haven't decided just yet. Ten of cups in the... Okay, we'll put that over here. Let's keep going. What's going on for Leo in July 2024? 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's the Nine of Cups from just a couple seconds ago. Nine of Cups with the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Some of you, you're wishing for an ending or you're wishing to be free from something or you're wishing to just like move on or like move in a new path, new direction. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles. This is a slow process. I do see it's... Oh, what's the card? The card sticking out here. We have the Hermit, even the Queen of Wands. This is like a solo process or a journey that's really about you. The journey of the soul. Journey of your soul huh and so some of you there is like an ending taking place now maybe this ending has to do with you the nine of cups and the ten of swords there's like this is first of all this is saying like the worst is over you're on the upswing things are only going to get better from here on out um you're moving away oh, <laughs> eight of wands and the ten of swords you're moving away moving on quickly very fast from some sort of ending it's like you're bouncing back quicker than ever before um and some of y'all straight up like you're you're manifesting a move you're manifesting a change you're manifesting a change in your job your physical reality like and the nine of cups is your wish fulfillment so that ten of cups sideways that came out just a couple seconds a couple minutes ago um you're in the process of making your life and your surroundings and your relationships a whole lot better it's not there a hundred percent but you're getting there you're fucking getting real close okay <laughs> like it's literally on its way to you it's happening like it's already unfolding it's already like a year from now this will be behind you oh, like the hard part <laughs> the hardest part i'll share like a year from now you got other things though you'll be dealing with that might be challenges but like a year from now oh my gosh like you're really looking back at this it's just crazy how much is changing in july and it's very fast and it's very quick and endings that you might be going through it's like in the blink of an eye everything changes or literally overnight changes like significant shifts that happen very quickly um very swiftly but yet at the same time at the same time like this has been a long time coming knight of pentacles two of pentacles ace of swords this has been months if not years in the making it's kind of like this is a tipping point in july didn't i say the tip of the iceberg with the oyster or was that your reading? I might have mixed it up with someone else's reading. But basically, this is where you're tipping the iceberg, okay? This has been, like, a long time coming. And it's been, like, such a slow, 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 slow process. And then finally, July, it, like, happens. The snap, the turning point, the significant shift that you've been waiting for. So... For some, it is about a relationship for others. Uh, well, I mean, honestly, we got a lot of cups out here. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is about, you know, a relationship, your living situation, your home, your family, or close-knit friends, your circle. Um, man, there's just so many changes going on. Okay. Should I just start clarifying or should I pull anything out? Let's, let's see if there's anything else. And then we'll clarify. This feels very much kind of like... I'm, maybe to you guys it looks fine, but for me, I'm like, there's just so much on the table. <laughs> there's so much to talk about here. I just want to see if there's any final thoughts. That's That was me. I'm not taking that. Any final thoughts, final messages for Leo before we clarify? Anything else that's going on for Leo in July? Anything else Leo needs to know? Look out for... Um, That's a big stack. How many is this? Oh, it's like four cards. Y'all, I... Do I want to take a peek at it? I kind of do. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Five of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, no, there's so many. No, so many. All right, real real quick rundown. Nine of Pentacles. Here you are investing yourself, your wealth, your health, your wellness. We got Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so where you're at in July, Leo, you're standing here solid. You're investing in yourself, your path. Again, this is very solo energy. We have the Six of Wands, which shows that there's success, there's victory. You're overcoming struggles. You're overcoming like some sort of challenge, some sort of competition or something where you've been competing, trying to show like that you're worthy, that you can do something, that you can achieve. Like you, You're proving yourself wrong. You're proving others wrong. You're beating your what is it your record you're beating your own personal record here even beating other records too like if there's other people involved i don't know why it's making me think of like world records or something are you beating a world record this month that'd be crazy um but congrats if that is the case <laughs> what kind of record i don't fucking know um we have the five of cups underneath that and uh, so some um, some emotional stuff coming up okay it could be some tears you might need to let out those feels there might be some disappointments 
if that is the case though queen of swords i kind of see five of cups queen of swords you, you feel your feelings it's very blunt and then you kind of just cut you kind of just detach you kind of just remove yourself you kind of just take those scissors and just cut away whatever that makes you feel bad or whatever that makes you feel sad or disappointed like seven of pentacles also five of cups seven of pentacles there's something there's been some things that you've been like waiting for for a long time <sighs> and there's just been like you've been hella patient but has your patience paid off was it worth the wait some of you was it worth the wait maybe it wasn't i don't know y'all again i wasn't even planning on taking that style like fuck that's so many let's just get into the cards let's clarify some of these messages like this wheel of fortune that's what we started your reading off with like big fat changes taking place lots of significant shifts things moving very quickly for you let's take a look and see what this is about all right wheel of fortune for leo what kind of changes is leo going through in july let's see show me clearly and look knight of swords at the bottom okay fast quick almost overnight if not it, it probably is or like huh all right tell me about the wheel of fortune for leo well this is what came out page of cups at the bottom oh my god all these cards fell out in the reverse we have the king of cups reverse ten of pentacles reverse two of cups reverse this is talking about you and another person or you and you know this could be talking about your family your home life where you live roommates maybe this is about your job but this feels more personal with all the cups and even the lovers out here we have even have a page of cups at the bottom which we have double confirmation we'll get into that next but it just feels like there's instability and there's this space or there's like separation or there's like a mo at least there's it may not physical space but emotionally there's space here the king of cups in the reverse is really showing like whether this is you or someone around you or something that's attached to you or connected to you um but there's like an energy here someone being very moody someone being making excuses being very sensitive and emotional but at a time where like they're not the most reliable not the most supportive um it could be a bit unbalanced one-sided maybe there's something about breadcrumbs here i don't know and so this is what's changing okay because we're clarifying the wheel of fortune this was what fell out okay so you and someone aren't really seeing eye to eye or there's been a lot of like shakiness in the foundation or trust or you know within this dynamic or home situation i'm seeing this is what you can expect this big change and i think it's a conversation you'll be having which page of cups page of cups double confirmation here all right this might be for some this is around that well what, what day is it what day is uh okay basically new moon energy for some this for some this conversation may very well be today tomorrow sunday if you're listening to this reading on friday this very well may be on this new moon in cancer where you have this conversation i'm seeing big breakthroughs there's clarity there's honesty there's truth there's a lot of communication a lot of answers and it turns out you and whoever you're dealing with on the same page want the same thing that there's longevity here or there's a potential to really build and maintain something stable okay you can sustain this it shows there's a conversation you're going to be having okay and for some this is on the new moon in cancer for others this might be more around that full moon in capricorn just saying the full moon's on full moon in capricorn is on the 21st just giving you a little bit of timeline of when things might line up for you but of course everyone saw different timelines so it's a conversation you're going to be having y'all it's going to be very i look the seven of wands at the top of the deck double confirmation okay we're going to look into that so page of cups what's being expressed here see this is something going back to the unicorn and the oyster this is something that you maybe been keeping to yourself you've been keeping very private or someone's been keeping very private page of cups for leo what is being expressed here what's this conversation communication what when did these cards slip out we have the queen of swords and death okay so this is about this conversation you're having is about change that needs to happen effective immediately like and there this is it like this is final a line is being drawn there's harsh not harsh no although the queen of swords you might come across someone may be perceiving you as harsh or you might be perceiving someone as harsh or cold or detached or like non-emotional or like you know hmm 
But anyway, someone is really being firm with what they will, will not put up with or tolerate. Or someone's like, you know, things have to change. This queen of swords, she's like, things must change moving forwards or this is it. It's like, change or it's over. <laughs> like, she's making big changes in her life as well. Let's see what's at the bottom. Four of Pentacles. It can be a little bit controlling or a little bit pushy. Or maybe someone's resisting. Eight, eight of wands underneath the four of pentacles someone's like holding back from making the change or there's a bit of resistance to making the change or someone still hasn't decided whether or not they want to follow through with this change or there's avoidance here four of cups okay turn this page of cups for leo page of pentacles tried coming out page of cups for leo knight of wands knight of cups as well at the bottom literally the way the knight of wands is coming at this queen she's like come at me correctly <laughs> come at me correctly like look at this knight of wands he's coming in strolling in all laxy daisy um fun light-hearted kind of silly not as serious as this queen she wants to be taken serious she wants this change like pronto so that's what's being expressed here. Another thing that's being expressed, we have Knight of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Lovers. Oh, sorry. Why did I say Lovers? It's literally Temperance. I was looking at the Lovers right here. That's why I said it. We got Sag Energy out here. Someone here is expressing their desire or their want. You could be expressing your desires or wants, or someone's expressing that to you. But it's like someone's wanting to make this successful this time around or wanting things to what <laughs> i don't know lovers seven of wands let's look into the seven of wands why do you have your gun seven of wands for leo emperor and justice so you want some sort of fair outcome here of course who wouldn't who wouldn't but so there's like these certain standards expectations certain qualities that need to be met and the four of cups is at the bottom where it's like you feel here that you might not be heard or you're not being understood you're like do you understand <laughs> yes or no do you understand what the fuck oh, the seven of wands for leo we have five of swords in the reverse so there's still some bitter feelings from the past it's it's being worked through it's being worked through but there's still this sharp edge there's still this rigid tension mistrust like something's been misaligned something seven of pentacles there's kind of like this expectation of the past repeating itself or things are what the fuck seven of pentacles the seven of cups it's like you're kind of you're you're in this place of questioning what's real what's genuine what's the truth what is tangible and what's just make belief or fantasy like okay so you, you so there's like skepticism here let's look into the two of cups of the intentions what are the true intentions behind this? Two of Cups. Time will tell as well. Two of Pentacles as I split with the Seven of Pentacles. You might want to give this a little bit more time to develop before deciding or before rushing on in or making big changes or commitments or accepting or declining. Let's see. Two of Cups. What are the intentions the person Leo is dealing with? the moon <laughs> hmm but your intuition knows right off the bat your initial feelings your gut instincts right off the bat when this first happened or when this first took place like your intuition knows but it is showing with the moon when i ask what are their intentions towards leo it's, it's like there is this kind of shady mask it's kind of like their intentions aren't out in the open or it's kind of feeling like it's a bit mysterious. Like, it kind of feels a little bit like a game, but let me see. Two of Cups. Five of Pentacles. 
and the page of wands this kind of feels whatever this is this feels here someone's wanting to huh, like restore some sort of play playfulness fun someone's trying to lighten things up it's been intense it's been heavy it's been serious it's been rigid like it's been rough right whatever this is it's been rough and someone's intentions is trying to kind of like lighten the load maybe crack a joke maybe like <laughs> don't get on your good side here trying to bridge some sort of gap the five of pentacles really representing that there's this detachment there's this distance something's gone cold it's been put on ice there's been like it's just been not fun there's been a lot of lack there's been a lot of loss and so that page of wands is trying to bring in more optimism trying to bring in more positivity trying to we have the magician at the bottom with the three of wands and the eight of pentacles someone's thinking like if i just continue if i keep just if i just keep trying like it will work or there will be improvements or i can prove leo that i'm serious about this or that i have good intentions i mean okay Let's look into that Ten of Cups sideways. Why are the Ten of Cups? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Because it shows like there's potential to have the Ten of Cups outcome. Whoops. Okay. Ten of Cups for Leo in the month of July. I almost said August, y'all. <laughs> Some of y'all, this this significant change may be headed towards August or end of July. Ten of Cups clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. How are the Ten of Cups for Leo? Yeah, it's, it's not because it's sideways. It's not everything, but it's something. <laughs> it's just enough to keep you going, I guess. All right, Ten of, ten of Cups for Leo in July. Ten of Cups for Leo in July. Nothing's coming out. Oh, there we go. You get to see it. What is it? World. Okay, so it's showing, you guys, it's showing the cycle's over. It's showing that, like, moving forward, things would be different. Three Pentacles, as long as you put, as long, whoever's involved, two or more people, whoever's involved, as long as effort is put in and it's, like, balanced, then I sh it's showing that this can be... A positive shift or improvements it's going to require a lot of work ten of pen sorry ten of wands and the page of pentacles effort solid effort but it shows that this could work it shows that you could have the, the happy how happy home happy house happy life happy outcome if you so choose if you want to put in the effort but it has to be mutual and there's a it shows the wheel of fortune in the world like this cycle is complete um lessons have been learned you can move to the next level you can like what the fuck okay what else can you tell leo about this king of pentacles this feels more stable this feels more grounded this feels more secure there's something becoming more concrete oh my god i'm just dropping these fucking cards okay Y'all, I don't even know what this reading was about. I don't even remember. Like, <laughs> I don't even remember. I'm like, I'm like, what was this reading about? Um, and then like this Eight of Wands, Ten of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. What the fuck was this about? I don't even remember. When this first came out, like at ten minutes or something. I don't even remember what this was. Eight of Wands, Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups. Like a desire, de your desire to put an end to something. It it's happening it's here it's happening there's a breakthrough you get your wish fulfillment something you've been wishing for some sort of ending here ten of swords what's this ending that you've been wishing for yeah is this a happy ending nine of cups with the ten of swords you're happy about this ending or you're happy about this change or you're you're impressed you're satisfied eight of wands ten of swords nine of cups what is this eight of wands ten of swords nine of cups for leo eight of wands page of pentacles for some it's about your job or it's money 
for someone, something you felt like you were once tied to or chained to. There's this little goat with a chain around his neck. It's like there's something here that you're no, you're finally free. Oh, Eight of Wands, Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups for Leo. Did a card fall out? Nope. <laughs> all right. This is, see, like nothing's coming out. It was either big stacks or no cards at all. Like this is so weird, but okay. Temperance reversed. So something that was out, out of balance, out of sync, something that was unrequited or something you were getting really impatient about. This is a lesson here like a big lesson that you're learning we have the empress and then the knight of cups so you're going to be receiving something that you love or you're going to really love this next step or this next path or this next part of this journey there is a significant ending taking place but it's something that you wanted because there is such instability or there's something that took a long time you were really impatient about but it's showing that this change it's happening and you're pleased with it you're satisfied like you're truly satisfied with this like you're like oh my gosh like the way the empress she's like she's like oh my god and there's this cup being presented to her so for some it definitely is in love romance it feels beautiful change beautiful change it was a little like it was a little messy i guess or right because we started off the wheel of fortune and i was like okay clarifying what's the change it's like well this is a change happening between you and somebody else and where there's been instability or lack of trust or tension or drama or trust issues or something like that that's what's shifting that's what's changing and it was a it was a conversation right i'm sorry i have to like backtrack because i forgot what all this was about oh my god but yeah six of pentacles at the bo bottom that shows that there's balance being restored there's respect there's reciprocation we got the magician the six of swords six 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 all right it looks like you're moving in the right direction it looks like things are unfolding very nice you're going to be very pleased with the way this transforms um five of wands and the nine of pentacles it's showing that whatever obstacles that might come up moving forwards right in this place in this relationship there there's still some obstacles y'all but you will overcome it you have to have the confidence that you can, like, self-confidence that you will overcome the obstacles. Because there will be little tests that come up. You're not completely out of it. What the fuck, y'all? What was this reading? I don't know, Leo. But hopefully this helps you. If it did, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info's in the description box. And I will talk to you in your next reading. Bye, Leo.